All right. The last break of the evening award goes to Matt. He grabbed two boxes of Hit Parade Entertainment Limited Edition. 44 out of 100. Good luck. Yeah, let's 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 go out with something special. Renee Mathis, shirt, jacket, and pants. That's out of thirteen hundred. Hey, Michael, how are you doing? The Parahawk Parachute Bag out of 600. Tal Shia. Jamie McShane. Played Cameron Hayes. Bob Heron as Collis. Wow, this double auto is amazing. But I am biased. Lucy Lawless. And Kevin Sorbo. It's Hercules and Xena. Fifty-five out of a hundred. Camille's dress. Quantum of Solace. Eli Wallace's shirt. Paid by David Blue. Commander Tucker and his jacket. Sally Kellerman, Dr. Daner, Tim Peugeot Smith, the foreign secretary from Quantum of Solace. Oh, and one more thing. This next autograph is iconic. This was a groundbreaking role for its time and still holds water today for multiple reasons. Oh, Huru! 
Michelle Nichols. One of the first featured main character played by a black woman and also featured one of the first times on regularly accessible cable TV when She Kisses Captain Kirk absolutely shattered that, well, for lack of a better term, taboo. At the time, that was unheard of and a major turning point in television and cinema. So a very huge and groundbreaking role by an absolute wonderful person oh absolutely so do not sleep on that that's huge oh and yeah matt uh look it up it was groundbreaking when she kissed kurt it was it was i don't believe it was ever done before and that's what made it a big deal but it was an empowering role and up until then unfortunately um, women of color were not given those type of roles, were not given names to their characters, let alone ranks and a regular appearance. So uh, she was very groundbreaking um, in what she did. So there you go. That is a fantastic way to end it. Thank you, Michael. 